Welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do a DIY stand for my TV It's a 49 inch LG TV dish uh, which I've repaired uh, and currently it doesn't have any stand at the back as you can see from here uh, on the back there is no stand at all uh, previously I've done a couple of TV stand uh, such as this one using a couple of uh, plywood and uh, you can actually see that it's actually standing by itself and it's actually quite stable now what I, what I need to do is do one for this 49 inch TV and so that it can stand on its own instead of lying on the the LCD uh, bottom which is very damaging to the LCD itself the, it's um, not very wise to stand on on the edge of the TV because it will damage it over time, especially the, the connection at the, uh, the, the sides. So let's get down to it. Okay, so currently what I have here is a couple of uh, uh, plywood. I, I got it from Art Friend. Uh, this is about a centimeter thick and about 61 cm long. And I've used a pen to uh, measure the half of this uh, single plywood so that it can be two, the two legs at the bottom. Um, what you need right now here is a drill, electric drill. Uh, this is optional. Um, this uh, this uh, shelving unit that you use for uh, doing a shelf. You know when you drill this to the wall and then there's a uh, plywood on the top it becomes a shelf but instead of using it as a shelf I'm going to use it as a stand so that you know you actually stand um, the TV over this area All right and of course you need a long ruler to measure uh, where you're gonna drill the holes a file if you want to you know, sand down the, the side of the wood so that it will not be so um, a lot of uh, the wood will not be so easy to prick your hands a, a saw to saw the wood and this is uh, the, the screws um, bolt and nut for the TV to secure the back uh, try to find one that is a uh, just nice but you can actually use a nut as well to fasten it I choose a long one um, but you can also try to find a, a, a just nice uh, length but it depends on whether you can actually find it or not right so from here some washers depending on whether you want to secure uh, this part when you try to drill uh, screw it down and uh, if the head of this uh, uh, screw is not big enough then it, you might need a washer if you want to right so that's all the things that i need right now to do the stand so let's get down to it Okay, uh, in order to mark the circle where to drill um, because the pan is a little bit fat to go through I have to dismantle a pan to get the, the pan in And there you have it, the two holes. Now for the other side. What I need is a small hole so that when I put in the screw, it will not crack open. Is 
is it too long if it's too long means uh, this screw is too too long cannot be used so this is slightly too long still poking out so I need to find an even smaller one mm. how's this this one is just nice okay now I found the four short screw and the four long screw I can start screwing it in starting by the small one have to be very gentle the reason why is because the the wood might split into remember don't screw it in first because uh, you want to make sure it's at the correct angle so that it will not have that slight angle thing so make sure that it's not poking out otherwise you damage your, your table you can put a washer so I need to find a small one small washer and then screw it in see there's no poking out you can go direct and start building direct small screw and a washer let's get a proper washer yep this is the correct one Here and here, 30 cm apart, and this one is the 30 cm apart that way. Right. Uh, next is to choose the drill bit that is slightly bigger than this one, so you can screw it in. In order to screw it in, I need to drill a hole bigger than uh, the hole here, so it's, it's slightly uh, thicker then it can be used this one is uh, for wood, wooden so I can use this drill bit 
but before you drill any hole, make sure you measure correctly. So what I'm going to do now is to find a proper hole that is in between these two areas. I'll estimate about slightly less than 4, so I'll make it 4 point so this two spot is the part where I'm going to drill right so there you go the, the drill hole that can be drilled Together. So basically the stand is completed and as you can see it stands by itself and it's quite stable. Uh, if you want to secure it further, you can put a piece of wood right across to secure it, but I don't think it's necessary because it's already very stable. Uh, yeah, it's actually very, very stable. So that's how you make a stand for your large screen TV without going out and buy a uh, you know, third party stand or things like that or mount you can just do it yourself to have your own stand you can uh, reasonably uh, extend the height depending on your preference if you want to uh, make it higher you can do it as well that's how you make a stand for your uh, flat screen TV yay!